What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom, what's up? Episode 489, 11 from 500. What up mom, we almost to 500. All right, so we just went over a bunch of other ones in the last five. Today we're gonna go over pull down refresher. What's interesting about this movement is, I think I see somebody fuck it up almost every day. I know in commercial gyms, people are messing this up all over the place. So I'm gonna show you what I see all the time. This is my, this is my favorite. Because they go here, and they could just quit, because then that's pretty, pretty close. But then this right here. This right here, they get like this, and this is the move. Now this is like a whole different exercise. What I want you to understand is all we are mimicking is a pull up. We're then adding to whether it weighs more than our body weight. So, you know, a guy like Tyler G that's on there needs 300 pounds because he only weighs 200 to challenge his back. Or like myself, like it's one of those things where your pull up motion stops here and then maybe gets to your chest if you're really good at him, right? If you're a treadway, you just try to get past your beard. But the reality is when you're doing a pull down, and there's some people that kind of get crazy with their swing and all that when they got heavy weight, and that can be understandable if you know what the fuck you're doing. But the reality is, my cues is always look at the pulley, because if you're doing pull-ups, you're probably looking up at the fucking bar, right? Then you're gonna pull down to the top of your chest. Once again, I learned from Arnold, big ass arch, big squeeze between your shoulder blades. Stretch, which is what you do when you do a pull-up. Squeeze, pull yourself up. So if you think about, that's what you're mimicking, is a pull up motion. Now, if you're overloading and you got a gang of weight on there, and you're basically giving yourself a little swing and momentum, then to squeeze like an overload, that's okay too. But don't turn it into a fucking seated row, and don't dump it at the bottom, because now you're changing your scap and shoulder angle. Mimic a pull up, please. That is gonna actually make your back stronger, actually gonna make it look like a motherfucking roadmap like most of the guys in this gym, and improve, and from an athlete standpoint, if you're doing it properly, it's gonna help, especially throwing athletes, make your back stronger to decelerate the arm, just make it healthier. So, please just mimic a pull-up. Knowledge Bomb episode 49.